Today we're going to take you guys on a little trip to Ikea where we pick up what we think is the best Funko Pop shelves that you guys can use for your displays to show off your favorite Funko Pops. So without further ado, let's jump into today's Funko Vlog. All right guys, so we're actually here at Ikea and I enlisted the help of our very good friend, Andrew. He uh, is letting us borrow his truck. So we're gonna go into Ikea and grab some brand new shelves for the collection room. So let's go see what we can find. So we found our first item. We went through the entire maze. So we could take one of these smaller shelves. They are $49.99 and uh, we're gonna need two more items. All right, so we quickly located the other two shelves that we're gonna be grabbing. Um, this is crazy. This has doubled in price since we bought the last ones for our collection room. So we're gonna be grabbing two more of these for today's haul and that should be it. All right, so thanks to the help of Andrew's truck, we got all the shelves loaded up nice and neatly. And uh, now we're gonna go home, we're gonna build them, and we're gonna see if we can put our Funko room vision to life. So hopefully you guys are gonna like this. So before we get home, we had to make a little quick pit stop here at the uh, PO box. And we even got some packages here from Fox and Dragon Hobbies from Canada, so we're gonna be unboxing them probably this Friday on our Friday Duel. So now we can officially go home. All right, so we just got home with all the stuff from Ikea, and uh, we're gonna head on down the stairs here, and I'm gonna show you guys what we have going on. Uh, pardon the mess. We just got home uh, last week for the first time after being away for a while, so uh, that's why it's a little bit messy. Uh, so in here, you guys are probably familiar with the studio. And uh, of course, we got the Slapshot Pops Hall of Fame all over there. So thank you to all of our amazing channel members. We have our 9K giveaways that we need to ship out in the next few days. Uh, right here is a little bit of Joanna's Loungefly collection. We're gonna be doing a full tour on that here on the channel very soon. Uh, so over here, if we go over, this is our garage, now turned Funko Warehouse. So uh, this is where we do the auctions. We have all of our inventory here and everything. We got them on the shelves and stuff. And uh, over here is all of the outgoing mail for today. So it's a lot of boxes. And then uh, if we come back over here, so this is our main collection room and uh, it's currently experiencing or about to experience a full revamp. So one of the reasons why we haven't done like a full room tour yet is because uh, we wanted to get to this point where we were 100% certain with everything we are doing. So we've been in the house for a year now. We do have these shelves here on display. We got my DC collection, Marvel collection, which we still need to do full collection videos on. We have Joanna's Disney collection and everything. And then over here, just for the time being, I did put all of our soda cans. It is quite a bit because we are big soda collectors. And up here on the top shelf is where we have a majority of our soda collection for right now. Now coming over here, we have all my Star Wars helmets lined up. If you guys are Lego fans, I will definitely explain our Lego habit and plans for the future in just a second. Uh, and then of course, this is my Star Wars collection, which we have done a full video on. So if you guys wanna go check that out, I will link it above. So getting back to the Lego portion of our lives, Joanna and I are massive Lego collectors. Uh, we actually got these tables over here uh, to build a Lego city. Now we're still going to build a little bit of a Lego city, but it's not going to be as big as we initially planned on just because we have some other ideas now that we want to do for the room. So we're still going to have some Lego stuff because we are big Lego fanatics. So we do want to get some shelves up over here. Uh, along the windowsill here, we actually have all of our custom brick heads that we are very proud of. Um, we've built them based on a lot of designs from other amazing Lego people in 
the community so you guys can take a look if you want to pause the video and check out all the characters i just zoomed over right here i have some of my technic vehicles uh some of my star wars vehicles and then we have a couple modulars right here so we are going to be moving these tables over here so the tables are going to be along the back wall here we just bought these new shelves right here from ikea yeah. and the plan is to put both of these shelves right here because we want to get more of our pop collection on display because we have several bins right here and then uh, we also have about seven or eight bins back there in the laundry room so we want to get more of our pops on display for you guys and we also want to use this wall space right here for more of joanna's lounge fly collection she just has a bunch of bags that just came in we love how the bags look over there and uh, we want to use some more wall space for her amazing collection so she can enjoy them and uh, you guys can see her collection grow and evolve right here on the channel so that is our plans for today we're going to see how it goes hopefully the vision turns out in real life as we hope so stay tuned <music>
right, so we officially finished building our three shelves here. And uh, I gotta say, they came out great. And like Joanna put it, it really opens up the room, which is what we really like so far. All right, so we did end up anchoring them. So we anchored this third shelf right here to this desk, and then the desk is anchored to the wall. And then way up on top, we actually have both of these, the uh, this shelf right here, and then the one behind it anchored to the banister wall right here. And we use the same dimensions and we put all the shelves in the same spots as where the shelves are lined up here. We're gonna do the same thing with our sodas. We're gonna put more sodas up here. Um, we're gonna have room for one row of pops right here. We can stack two right here, another two right here. And then we're gonna put some of our out of box pops and pop rides in the middle. It's just what I've done over here with our uh, Marvel and DC collection. And I think it's pretty good. You know, it gives us an opportunity to really appreciate some of these bigger Funko Pops and uh, some ones that, you know, they get cooped up in their boxes and I think they deserve to be out of box. Obviously some Pops should stay in their boxes, you know, with the, the armors and everything, but that's what we have. And uh, I have a feeling some people are gonna ask so just to give you guys an awareness, uh, so these are the Billy bookshelves from Ikea. These are, in our opinion, the best Funko Shop, or uh, Funko Shop, Funko Pop display shelves that you can get for any sort of room. If you don't have a lot of space, obviously you can, you can get these smaller ones. The big ones here hold anywhere from 120 to 150 Funko Pops, depending on, you know, if you do some out of box, if you have them, you know, facing forward, or if you spin them the other way, so you have them sideways, then you can obviously fit a lot more. And then for this shelf right here, you can fit anywhere from 50 to 75. And uh, those are, it's a rough estimate depending on, you know, like I said, how you face each one of the Funko Pops. So, um, so far the room is, is coming together. Joanna is actually putting some of her architecture Lego sets right here on this shelf. So that's where some of them are going to live. She is almost complete on Lego architecture. I think she's just missing like one or two sets. So we have to step up our game and help her complete that collection and uh, we're going to continue modifying the room right here uh, like i said we're going to put, put up lounge fly bags we're going to move some of these tables over uh, we're going to clean off this table and we're going to put our uh, folding table away we're going to bust out a lot of these pops and uh, put them on the display shelves that we just built and i'll also show you guys coming around here we have alex taking a nap so this is the view when you first come down the stairs. So we have this shelf right here. Obviously we had to watch out, you know, for the swing radius of the closet door right here. So we kept that in mind. And uh, we actually left a little space back there so we can still reach the light switch, which works out. Um, but we're gonna have a lot more room for more of our collection. As you guys can see back there, the uh, other parts of our collection are stored away in buckets. And uh, yeah, well, so we'll have more full collection tours coming soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this mini Funko vlog video. This is our first vlog video that we've done. Uh, if you guys wanna see us do more vlog style videos, uh, drop it down in the comment section below. We do have Joanna's full lounge fly tour coming soon. And uh, we have a lot of cleaning left to do. So big thank you to Andrew for helping us out today. And uh, yeah, we had a great day, great time. And uh, we'll see you guys very soon. As always, don't stop shooting until you score. And we'll see you all very soon.